everybody. My name is Lauren and I am one of the co-presidents of Rowan University's 3D Printing Club. And today I'm going to show you how to model your very own desktop bow in Onshape. So let's get started. So the first step is of course to go to onshape.com, sign in and then create a new document. Um, if you have seen any of our other videos, you know exactly how to do this. Um, if not, I will show you in one second. Um, but before we get into that, I just wanted to show you what the model looks like. So this is our bow. Um, yeah, really cute. Uh, something that you could put on your desk and look at and then be reminded of all your talent that you have with 3D modeling. So um, I think it's definitely worth it to make this and submit it to us to be printed. So yeah, let's get started with it. So I'm just going to go back to the home page of my Onshape. And I'm going to come down to this create button here, hit new document, and it's going to ask us to name it. I'm just going to name mine on shape bow tutorial. And it's going to open my new document. And voila, we have exactly what we should see with the new document. So I'm just going to center myself. Um, and the first thing that we're going to do is come up here to the three lines next to the on shape logo. We're going to hit that and we're going to change the workspace units from inches to millimeters. Hit that green check mark and you're good to go. Okay, so to create our bow, we are going to start with a new sketch. Um, it's going to ask us to select a sketch plane. You can really do any sketch plane. I usually work in the front, uh, but it really doesn't matter. Notice that the tools appear change when you go into a sketch mode. Um, so if you see these tools, that's good. That's what we want to see when we are in a sketch. Now to create the bow, we're going to use the mirroring technique where we only have to create one side of the bow and then we can just use the mirroring tool to create the perfectly symmetrical other side of the bow. Um, so it makes it a lot easier for us. And to start, we're going to actually create the line of symmetry that we will be using with this mirroring tool. So to do that, we're going to create just a line down the middle of our plane here. And you can use that center point as a reference. Um, and as long as you see this, yellow and blue dotted line, you know that you are drawing a straight line there. All right, so we have our line, and now we're going to start with the center of our bow and work outward. So to create the center, we're going to come up here to this square tool, and we're gonna go down and hit the center point rectangle. So we're in that tool now, we're going to take our cursor and hover it over the center point until it turns yellow. Then we're going to click down and kind of drag out and it does not matter how big you make your box because we are going to dimension it. So at any point, just click down, solidify the box in the middle of our plane there, and then come up here to the dimensions tool, which is on the right side of our sketch toolbar here. Click on that. Oops, oh, I forgot a step, I'm sorry. Um, because we're only modeling half of this, we're going to cut um, the sides of the square that are on the right so that we only need to deal with the left. It's just gonna make it easier for us visually when we are modeling only the one side of the bow. So we have our half of our square, I should say, and now we're going to dimension that. So the top is going to be eight millimeters and that should also dimension the bottom. Um, so those two are good and now just the side. Oh, it's almost already at the correct number. We're gonna do 18 millimeters. Perfect, okay. so. Check, done, we have the center of our bow completed and we're going to now go on to do um, the part around this area. So this is really up to you and how you wanna do it. Um, I don't have really rigid instructions for this. So if you just wanna keep playing around with it with the, the uh, techniques I'm gonna show you until you get something that looks good, that's up to you. Um, but here we go, I'll show you how to do it. So again, we're gonna start with our line tool. We're just gonna come up here and kind of make a line. You can make it appear, you can make it appear. It depends however you want your bow to look. I'm gonna make mine right about here. Um, okay, so we're gonna leave that line there. No need to dimension it, um, just leave the line. We're going to come up here to the line tool again and we're gonna do the same thing um, down here. And I'm gonna make mine a little bit less angled because this is the bottom of the bow. So something like that. All right, that looks good. Now what we're going to do, again with the line tool, is we're going to kind of come out here 
kind of a little bit lower than the initial line that we created. I'm just going to do a straight line, kind of like that. I hope that's good. I think so. Okay. All right. So we have something that looks like a triangle, a little bit weird without the sides filled in. Um, and the reason why we have this is because we're actually going to make a curve to make it actually look like a bow. So we come up here to this three point arc tool. We're going to click on that. Um, and then just click each side of your bow and notice that there is this little curvy thing that forms um, between the lines. So we're going to click on that and we are happy with the way it looks. And we're going to come down here and do it for this other one. Perfect. All right. So it's looking kind of like a bow, right? Um, that was super easy and that's really the only tricky part about this. So once you get that down pat, you are good. Um, and the rest of the model is just smooth sailing from there. Okay. So yes, we see this top part of the bow, but what's missing? Um, the actual uh, pointy bow part at the bottom, if I <laughs> described that the right way. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. So again, we're going to use the line tool. We're going to start from the point that's at the bottom left-hand side of our half square. And we're just going to click on that and drag out. You can make it as diagonal as you want. You can make it as straight as you want. It does not matter. Um, I'm going to stick with something around 30 millimeters. And I'm just going to kind of make my shape here. And then just bring it back. OK, that was so easy. Um, if you want to go ahead and make it a little bit finer, you can dimension these guys here. So that's 6.5 millimeters. I can change that to just 6.5. And then this one also 6.5, just to make it the same size there. That's totally up to you, whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, this is the gist of the idea. So we're just taking half of the bow using those techniques that we're going to mirror it. So now I'm done with my half of my bow, so I'm going to go ahead and mirror it, but you guys can still work on it if you'd like to, and then pause and come back to this point. All right, so I've selected my mirror tool, and it's going to ask me to select a mirror line. So remember at the beginning, we created that specific line for the symmetry. We're just going to click on that line, and now it's going to ask us to select the entities to be mirrored. So that's every single line that we created, because we want it to show up on the other side of that mirror line. So go ahead and just go crazy clicking all the lines that you made and notice that they show up completely the same on the other side as how you created them on this left side. Bam, and we have a bow, awesome. Um, and just to let you guys know, you can design the half of your bow on the right side and the mirror to the left. It absolutely does not matter. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete my symmetry line because we don't need that anymore, we're done. And I'm going to use my right clicker to kind of drag my sketch around. And yeah, it looks just like a bow. It's super cute. All right, so of course, we all know that once we're done doing a 2D sketch, what's the goal of 3D modeling? Make it 3D. So we're going to come over here to this extrude button. Um, and of course, that is once we are out of sketch mode. So make sure that you click the check when you're in sketch mode. And then you'll see these tools change. Then you can select the extrude. Okay, so I'm in extrude right now, um, 25 millimeters. I believe that's the same as one inch. We're going to just, yep, it is. We're going to just leave this at the default. So 25 millimeters or one inch is perfect. And I'm gonna drag it around, see that it is extruded. It's looking really good. But there's something that we can add to make it a little bit better, right? So I'm going to extrude the center part of my bow. So to do that, I'm going to create another sketch. I'm going to select the surface of my sketch one. And then what I'm going to do is come over here to this features area and I'm going to hover over sketch one. Notice that there is an eye with a cross through it. We're going to uncross that eye just by clicking on it so that we can see our sketch one because we are going to uh, create another sketch around this square here. And to do that, like what we did in the beginning, we're going to use the center point rectangle. So click on that tool and then come up here. You can zoom in if you want to. Um, put your cursor over that middle point and just click once it turns yellow and drag out. And then once your square is the same size as the original square, you're good. So we're done with this sketch. It's very quick and very simple. So click that green check mark. And now we are going to extrude that little square. So click on that and 
if we kind of drag our item here with our right clicker, notice that that's way too long. So we're going to change that to three millimeters and that is more reasonable. So click that green check mark when you're done. If you wanna hide the first sketch that we did, cause it's kind of taking away from the overall view of the model, we can kind of just cross out that eye like we had originally. And then you can move it around and look at how beautiful your bow is. It's great. Um, we're going to keep the back side of it flat. So only extrude one side of this center point here. And that's just because when we are 3D printing it, if we do something like this on both sides, it's going to require a lot of support material and it's gonna be a mess. Plus, if you have this on your desk, you're only able to see one side at a time. So let's just keep that to the front there um, and then you're good. Now, if you are finished with your model and you are ready to submit it to 3D Printing Club Free Print, what you can do is come over here to the Part Studio One. You can right click on that and notice that the last option here is to export. So once you click on export, it's going to ask you to name your file. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to do 3DPC dash. You're going to put your last name. We're going to put a dash and then it's going to ask you, or I guess we are going to ask you what exactly you're printing, what event it is. You're going to put bow underscore workshop, another dash, and then the color that you want. Um, and I guess the color, you know what, just leave the color out because um, you don't know what your color is until you actually go to submit it and you select a color. So just name it like this and then hit OK. Make sure that this says STL, everything else you don't need to worry about. So name STL, hit OK, and then it will download over here. And if you just click this up arrow, hit show in folder, you can save it to a specific spot on your computer. But otherwise, you can just go to your downloads when you are submitting onto the document, onto the Google form. Um, you could just retrieve it from your downloads. So it's however you want to do it. And then, yeah, 3D PC will print that for you. Um, so thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Um, hope you enjoyed it and have a great rest of your day. Take care.